welcome to our channel i want to say thank you and god bless you for watching our videos you are amazing we love you thank you so much god bless you we thank the lord father will bless you we worship your name oh my god thank you it's another beautiful day that you have made we will rejoice and be glad in it thank you for the life of this one thank you for what you have done in our lives in the life of these viewers thank you for what you are still doing thank you for what you will still do in the name of jesus father speak to us in jesus christ's wonderful name we have prayed amen amen by the grace of god i have some testimony you know yes this video you know i got somebody was appreciating god for what the message has done in our life another person another person said this message has blessed me a lot this message is for me i'm so and those those words those testimony encouraged me a lot i also want to thank god there was something i applied for about let's say was this a month ago it's not job and it's not money but it's something that will put my mind together that thing is supposed to take like minimum of like probably three months but it was granted within three to four days so i was wondering why did they have to grant it that fast why why did they have to approve this thing so fast you know what what prompted this fast approval you know i was kind of wondering did they look me up anywhere what up to now i don't understand but i want to really appreciate god because at least it's something that will put my mind together I, like i don't want distraction from what we are doing you know i really really appreciate when i pray the testimony shall be permanent in the life of all the people that have shared this testimony and we trust god for more more to come and i and i and i'm pray, pray and, and i'm trusting god that yours will not be an exemption in the name of jesus god will visit you this season it will change your life he's been doing it before he will do it in your life yours will not be an exception in the name of jesus in the name of jesus how to start hearing god clearly how to start hearing god clearly i'm going to share some points like things that can enhance your hearing from god like this point i want to share is something that will make you to start hearing from you to enhance your hearing from god it will make you to start hearing god clearly number one for you to start hearing god clearly you the spirit of god has to move upon you the spirit of god needs to move when the spirit of god moves you begin to hear god genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 the bible says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god moved upon the face of the water and god said let there be light so before God spoke, the Spirit of God moved. When the, when the Spirit of God moved, the God began to speak. So when the Spirit of God begins to move in your life, God will begin to speak. Le kotopo shalaba. Joel chapter 2, 28. The Bible says, And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. You see what happened? God has to pour his spirit before people can prophesy. God has to pour his spirit before people can see vision. God has to pour his spirit before people can dream dreams. So the spirit of God has to move. When the spirit of God moves, you begin to hear God in those ways. So how do the spirit of God move in your life? For the spirit of God to move in your life, you have to live a sanctified life. You have to live a holy life. You have to live a life that pleases Him because it's only spirit. It is only spirit. It doesn't dwell in dirty vessels. And I pray the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. Make sure your salvation is genuine. Make sure you love the Lord truly. Make sure you, you, you love the Lord genuinely. Number two way to start hearing God clearly, you need to give your ears to Him. You need to you need to incline your ears to Him. You need to get ready, like get prepared. Make sure your ear is open. Do not get busy. To, do not get busy so that you'll be able to hear him clearly. In the book of uh, Psalm 78, verse 1, the Bible says, Give here, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. You have to incline your ear. You have to pay the price of paying the attention. Move like if you want to hear somebody, like somebody is like 
in some way you want to hear the person you know you try to move closer to the person that means you are getting ready to hear the person you intentionally open your open up your ears that is one of the price you have to pay for hearing god clearly incline your ear be still in his presence psalm 46 verse 10 the bible says be still and know that i am god you have to get ready in his prayer. Get ready to hear him, okay? The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Number three ways to be hearing God clearly. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. The Bible says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants. The prophets unto his servants. When you serve God, God will speak. If you are serving God, God will speak. By the grace of God, what we preach, by the time we are preaching, we are preaching. You know, God needs to tell us what we will tell the people. We don't just come up and we don't pick, we don't have any machine that is formulating the topic. It is the spirit of God in us because we, we are serving God. We are serving him. We want to speak to his people. You can be in a church. You can be a worker. God, God will begin to speak to you because he needs to tell you the next thing to, to do. In the, he needs to tell you the, thing, the next thing he wants to do in the life of the people. He said he will not do anything, but he revealed his secret to his servant. You know, if you are the type that pray for people, God has to reveal what they are passing through to, to you. If you serve him, he will speak to you. You, I'm, I'm, I assure you, by the grace of God, if you are in kingdom service, you have to, he will speak to you. You want to sing in the choir, you are the choir leader, you know, you are leading anything. You want to lead praise, worship, you know, God has to tell you the song to sing. He has to speak to you. He has to reveal songs to you, okay? The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. How do you start hearing God clearly? You can really hear God clearly through his word. Get close to the word. Let his word dwell in you richly. Colossians 3, 16. Let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Let the word dwell in you richly. By the time you begin to read this word, by the time you begin to listen to his word, you know, you begin to... You begin to, your hair will be open up. You will be open up. You will hear him because himself is his word. So you can truly hear him clearly to his word. No confusion. In fact, from, 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 from research, you know, we were told that every vision, everything, every other way God speaks to people, they have to subject, they have to subject themselves to the word of God. The word of God still have the final say. It has the final say. I pray the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of God. Jesus, Allah kata pashalaba. Number five, which might probably be the last one for this section, is to when you pray, when you are a man and a woman of prayer, a, a man and a woman of his presence in prayer, when you wait on him in prayer, he will speak to you. When you pray, when you begin to pray, you know, you begin to sing to the spiritual realm. By the time you begin to pray, the gate of heaven will begin to open. By the time you pray, you begin to see the mysteries. You begin to see the mysteries. You begin to receive the words from heaven. Oh my God, God is opening the eyes of somebody. God is opening the ears of somebody. Begin to receive understanding in the name of Jesus. The channels of your spirit begin to open up right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody stretch your hand. Somebody stretch your hand. God is anointing somebody's hand. God is anointing somebody's hand for success. He's anointing your hand for success. God is turning that situation around. God is making that situation to work together for your good. God is making things new for you. He's turning things around. He's turning things around. God is giving you a new song. I thank you, Father, because that is what you are going to do in the life of somebody today. Father, I bless you because that is what you are going to do in the life of somebody today. Oh my God, I pray for this one. Channels of your spirit begin to open up. Channels of your mind begin to open up to the things of heaven, to the words from heaven, to the melodies from heaven. I see the angel of the Lord standing by you.
you right now. I see the angel of the Lord whispering to your ears right now. God is beginning to speak to you. His angel begins to bring words to you. Begin to receive words from heaven in the name of Jesus. Every eye that is that is blind, every ear that is deaf from that is deaf from hearing from God, begin to open now. Begin to open now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship your name. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And there was another point that was coming to my heart. Why pray? You can also hear God when worshiping God and spirit and in truth the bible says god the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth when you begin to worship god deeply in his presence you begin to hear things most especially you can hear song for especially for those of you that want to really be writing songs you know you can hear god while worshiping most of the songs we wrote by the grace of god they came while worshiping God, you know, you begin to worship God from the depth of your heart. You begin to worship him from the depth of your heart. And the melodies begin to come. The melodies begin to, begin to, begin to drop from heaven. You don't know what is happening to you. You just discover this fresh song, the new songs from the heaven, from heavens. They are just dropping. Hey, song of angel. Father, we bless you. We worship you for the life of this one. Thank you for what you have done in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I don't know, maybe you are watching me, you are still living in sin, you are here to give your life to Christ. This is another opportunity for you, like you said in this teaching, that you need to have genuine salvation for the Spirit of God to move in you. The Bible says, I will pray the Father to give you my spirit. So the first thing you need to do is to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you don't mind, would you like to say this prayer after me? If you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your word unto me today. Father, please, I acknowledge myself as a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Please write my name in the book of life. Thank you for accepting me. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. If you said that prayer genuinely, congratulations. You are now a born again Christian. I want you to continue to love the Lord. Continue to follow him. Continue to do his will. Continue to learn of him. And it shall be well with you. Thank you for watching. I love you. If you like this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and loved ones, and I will see you next time. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>